Hello, all of you vainglorious, you wonderful people. Our drought just officially ended, though. It does take just a little while uh, for the water to make its way around. It starts over here. And see, it kind of, I guess this is like a, a water generator for a map. I don't know. I've never played with, like, building a map of this. I don't even know if you can build maps for this game. Uh, but it flows from there, and then it has to flow all the way down through these valleys over here around this bend hmm if i just blasted that uh it still wouldn't do what i'm wanting it to do anyway just, i'd still need to get up and over this bit i'll say if i just blasted that that could be a way to help me uh irrigate some of the land i wanted to irrigate but it would also give me this back here and i think it's gonna flood anyway so there we go. I want to get our crops rejuvenated because they're all dead. And I, I want to get a, a good cycle here of our crops getting replanted. Because it will take a while once I close this, this will all empty. And it will take a while for the flooding to go all the way across back there. Uh, so I'd just like to see all of this healthy again. So see, there we go. It's watered and it's alive. These were dead and dried out. So their progress reset so these all need a while to regrow um and i kind of want to let that happen uh we got really low on water during that drought though you can see they're they're struggling to catch back up in fact and we have a few beavers that are kind of far from water uh that that struggled a little bit nobody died though of thirst but we did get pretty low and we've only got a hundred water for 188 beavers so that's that's a you know not a comfortable place to be in for the water supply but now that it's morning we have what a dozen water pumps that are going to kick into action here and that should get things refilled fairly quickly i hope i hope i hope i hope um, I wonder if I prioritize all these by haulers. Then again, I don't know how much, how many haulers we really have. Um, only have 20 and we're already prioritizing a lot of stuff for the haulers. So, yeah, I'm not sure. Building lacks materials. What building lacks materials? Oh, yeah, you don't have logs or planks? Well, now you don't have power either, so it doesn't matter. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, the windmills aren't as reliable as I thought they'd be. I thought they would just always work. Turns out that's not the case. Uh, these are still running somewhat uh, because there's beaver power <laughs> keeping them going, which is probably not the best to rely on, but hey. So yeah, I just want to get water and our crops kind of in a better spot before we start messing with the water i'm not even sure this is gonna work this is pure experiment at this point if this does work what i may do is like you know have our have a a bridge across somewhere uh to separate two districts one on each side uh, i would think that would work i put like the district gate right across the middle i think that would look really snazzy the thing is can i make oh i can make suspension bridges so, what's my difference here? I don't know. So that's a two by one. Oh, I see, okay. A one by one is just one bit at a time. Whereas that's three bits at a time, okay. And then four bits at a time, but we can't do that yet because we're not making, so these are out of the question. We're not making any iron, but these we can do. Because they just require planks. Cool. Speaking of things we can do, let's go through now that we've got a bunch more research. And well, that's going to take like all of our research for the mechanical water pump. Yeah, we're not, I'm not really worried about lifting water just yet. Um, also, we will be ready for iron once we get to over here. But we're not yet. So I'm not going to worry about these guys just yet. Power, we've got it all unlocked. Science, we've got it all unlocked. Uh, leisure. Oh yeah, we can open the mud bath. Why not? 
And then uh, we've got all of our decor and then our monuments. Uh, let's go ahead and get a new monument unlocked. That's gonna take 400 blanks. We have it though. We have it, and man, that's that's a beautiful monument. Look at that. We can put that up here, um, like, or maybe up here. That's just gonna monument or make a monument on the water. Let's put it down right here, because I'm planning on expanding into this area soon. Maybe I should do housing first, or anything else that I'm gonna build vertical, uh, just because. That would probably be better. Yeah, that would be better. We'll wait on that then. Okay. So water has caught up. Our food situation, they're at about 35%. I just wonder how long it'll take the water to go all the way over there. We have a huge store of food. Water was what I was mostly worried about. So you know what? I'm going to do it. I am going to do it. I'm going to raise these gates. We just need it high enough to flow up and over here, which if you look right there is just enough to get it to just flood. Uh, it'll take a minute, but it will just barely there it goes, and now it's going over the gates and flooding this area. That will just barely flood that area. And take a little while for it to all go back there. And since it's already flowing over the gates, we should be good here. The thing is, I don't really want it much higher than that, because then once we reach equilibrium, it'll be coming through at about that height as well, which could lead to some flooding on this side, um, which, you know, we don't want. So we're gonna have to keep an eye on this a little bit. So this, yeah, this filled in regardless. And then we're just waiting for it to get back here and make this turn. We've once again filled up this area. This does, I guess it evaporates, I'm not hundred percent certain. Uh, I, I've not like kept an eye on it, but I did notice uh, during one of the videos, we even talked about it, trying to figure out what happened, but one of those videos were lost, um, that it was suddenly empty. And I'm like, hmm, where'd it go? And, and I, I don't know the answer to that question. I guess it evaporates uh, during drought, potentially. Not 100% certain. So yeah, I'm assuming that once this all gets flooded, that our water will reach like an equilibrium. And then we can see what it's going to do over here as well. But right now, a lot of that water pressure is, you know, seeking out a new path. But eventually, as it meets up with this and then tries to flow back this direction as well, you know, it will it'll get that that you learn. They've done the physics of water really, really well. Um, I'm also considering once we do add another district over here, uh, just running another set of levees maybe like just here just to kind of channel the water a little bit and give myself a little bit more usable land down here instead of just having this huge huge river in a valley um i'm not sure what's most beneficial i really would like to be able to raise this up though so the water here is a little bit higher because as it is it's just barely just barely covering the ground here and then as we get on one out ooh, this direction, you can see the same thing. And I'm not sure what's gonna happen as all of this falls. So are these trees gonna become watered again? Probably not. They're dead and they're not trees that are being managed by anybody. So they'll probably remain dead. So as we watch the water fall, and this, ooh, this should actually make a pretty waterfall. That's cool. I am going to take a drink of water because I am parched. I guess hanging out with beavers during a drought has an effect on a person. So yeah, this isn't quite flowing around the way I expected it to. I really expected it to kind of fill in and drop down because I was really hoping to channel it this direction. Because I was eventually hoping to build like another wall here and one here. 
the channel here and get some more uh, water wheels so that we could have a good source of power and just drop them off the side over here. But yeah, it looks like my water is now just kind of sitting here in a few places it's flowing over, but it definitely does not appear to be filling up any higher on that side. So maybe we need to raise the gates just a little bit more. It's even really low over on this side now. They're really low. And it was running much deeper over here. Hmm, is there just not enough water to do this? It may be, I kind of just assumed that, you know, this was a pretty formidable source of water, but Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe because that's all the higher it comes in. Maybe I need a series of gates back here, raising it up and then dropping it down. I don't know the answer to that question. Or maybe the recent update changed some things. Let me go ahead and raise it up another half meter. See if I can't get it deeper back here. I know we're just playing with water, but what are you going to do? Uh, we, need, we need to figure this out. So this is rising. Yes. No. And that's a problem. I mean, it is rising, but yeah, there we go. A very, we wind up losing it. I don't know that it is even really getting any farther than that. Oof. Maybe this should have been a dam instead of gates. I mean, we've got quite a bit of water flowing, but it almost looks like it's just kind of stagnant, doesn't it? Doesn't look like it's actually moving anywhere. And that's going to make this really, really tricky to get it managed. It is a good thing we built this levee here because we would have one little spot right here that it'd be flowing that could potentially eventually flood over there. But it doesn't look like we're going to get any more actual height out of this. Because it doesn't seem... Oops. It doesn't seem to be getting much higher than that line right there. Hmm. Which kind of makes sense. I mean, it'd be hard for the water to raise up much higher than its source without, you know, a pump to do that. Which I guess we could investigate that. Maybe... All right, let's 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 think about this here. How can I... Oh, by the way, did it, how much of this did it fertilize? Quite a good chunk. Um, now, we were fertilized over here. Yeah, I got to lower these back down because we're losing all of our food. And in the meantime, let's, let's think about how we could potentially bring some more water up and over these gates while simultaneously flooding back here. Um, so we have new water pumps. There's water, uh, it's just a water pump that pumps water for them to drink. There's the mechanical water pump that I cannot build yet because it requires new, the new treated lumber and it also requires steel. Um, but it pumps water up one side and discharges on the other. Um, you know, so I think if I like put it here, put some barriers there and then had it just flow right back out, then maybe we could pump some of the water that was sitting there. And this is definitely not, not really doing exactly what I was hoping for over here. And I think it's just because I've allowed it to spread just way too far. I think that's the problem. So... What we're going to need to do is 
get in their district established pronto. And I don't know what I can do about this, but I could probably get better current through here. Because as it is, this current is not going to be fast enough. I mean, it's barely flowing. Uh, and that's not going to be fast enough to power any water wheels, uh, which I'd kind of like to have some water wheels. So we do have one little section here that is still not getting uh, irrigated from either side. So that would be an ideal spot for production, housing, things like that. Um, what I want to see, though, is we have the new beehives. Oh, we're not making... Stay, no, stay up. Stay up. Uh, it's really tricky to get some of these to stay up. Come on, there we go. Uh, paper. We're not making paper yet. That's kind of what I want to expand into. So I would like to get beehives. I think it'd be fun. So what do we need to do to make paper? We need some gears. We need some planks. Cool. We can do all that. And then once we have a paper mill, there's other things we can do. By the way, you also do have new tapper shacks. Uh, something I failed to mention in the last video. We have one here that is getting uh, maple syrup, though I can't figure out where they're storing the maple syrup. Like I keep looking through all of my storage and I never can find it. Um, so I don't know that we actually have any. Like, I don't know. He just always has no goods in stock. Uh, and same with this one over here. This one gets pine resin that can be used to treat uh, Timber, but I just I don't I would assume that stuff would show up here So why they're not actually collecting any I don't know maybe Maybe they can't get it because the trees are also marked for cutting Ooh, I don't know. You know, let's uh, let's investigate. Is there like a gatherer, a thing we have to do to indicate gathering? It's like cut trees. We have to tell them that, you know, mark an area. We are going to cut down these trees. So no plenty of crops, plants, trees and bushes uh, under food. Under wood. What are we doing? Nothing to indicate there. Yeah, I just don't see anything that allows me to say, hey, this is a priority for you guys to gather. By the way, what's an aquatic farmhouse? It can really only be built in water. Oh my gosh, it can really only be built in water. What's it do? Employ specialized farmers that plant and harvest aquatic crops. Oh. Spatter dock. This plant must be partially submerged. Neat. And cattails. Uh, that's not food, though, is it? I don't know. Uh, of course, then we have wheat and all that. We do need to get wheat growing as well for increased diversity. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I'm going to have to look into how to get these, these guys running. Because I, I just don't think that they've collected anything yet. Because uh, I can't... And the reason I say this is because I just can't find it in any storage. Anywhere. You would think there would be some, somewhere. Uh, pine resin or maple syrup. And there's just not. I guess one way we could test that would be to build just a couple small warehouses real quick. Those are too big. I was hoping to get a bigger one. So we're going to build just a couple small warehouses right there. They fit beautifully, so why not? And those should get built pretty quick because they're both just logs. And then what we're going to do is as soon as it is finished, boom, we're going to pause. And we're going to block everything on this one except maple syrup. which is going to take a second to do. You know what? Let's just go none, none. And then this will probably be easier. And then go maple syrup allowed. There we go. Cool. And then on this one, we're going to say none, none. And then we're going to say uh, that we only want pine resin. And we will increase that to 200. 
And then we will increase this to 200. And then see if we actually get any of those. And I mean, that'll tell us if this is working. Because maple syrup and pine resin are both things that uh, the pine resin is used to treat wood to make treated logs, I guess, or treated planks, I should say. I don't know what the treated planks do, uh, other than build more advanced buildings. Uh, and then the maple syrup can be used in one of our new food buildings. I believe in the bakery, yeah. So we, we flour, maple syrup, and a log can make uh, actually like a pastry, which is kind of cool. Um, but if they're not collecting it, then there's definitely a problem. Yeah, see, there's nothing. And these dudes are just kind of sitting there. Employees tappers to gather sap and syrup from trees. He clearly has a couple trees he could be collecting from, like there. The radius is more than sufficient to go back there. Um, where are you? What are you doing right now? You work at the tapper shack. You carry nothing. Looks like you're heading to church. I love this thing. Here, beavers thank the whimsical nature for its relative generosity. It's so cute. Uh, they go to their little temple. And I really wanted to start getting some stuff built, but I really want to know how these guys are going to be working. Because uh, I was planning on doing like another little forest back here of maple and pine. And I don't want to waste my resources if I haven't figured out how this works. So that is something I am definitely going to have to figure out is how this tapper shack works. Uh, so I may just, I've got two branches of these saves, one that I kind of test with and then another that I record videos from, for the things I learned in the testing. And you guys thought you just got to see it all firsthand. Don't be silly. Um, one thing I sh think we should do though is I want to go ahead and just, we've got 79 employee beavers. Now we're ready for a new district first. We need to. We need to figure out how to get over here and make a new district uh, in an efficient fashion that will then allow us to immediately prioritize getting this water controlled a little bit better. I really think I'll just come like right down to here and then let it flow through there at a pretty good clip. Just maybe even uncontrolled after that, but just really restricting this to a really narrow channel here and then out that way. Uh, just so we can get some speed in there and then be able to do a water mill or water wheels off of everything. But we'll have to figure out all of that in a future video. Let's go follow Zoraja. To you too. And until next time, I'm Brandon reminding you to stay vainglorious.